Hi Precalc, it's Mr. Thompson here. We're going to solve this ugly trig equation and it's going to be awesome. So, we have 2 cosine of x over 3, and I notice the period change, plus root 2 equals 0 over this domain. We'll get to the domain at the end. So, cosine of x over 3 is equal to negative root 2 over 2 after I subtract and divide. That's going to isolate my cosine function. So, now my goal is to get x by itself. I need to get rid of the cosine. So let's take an arc cosine of both sides. And I get the arc cosine of negative root 2 over 2. Now, the idea here is I'm trying to get x by itself with this period change, but I can't deal with this until I deal with the arc cosine. All the arc cosine of negative root 2 over 2 means is I'm trying to find all the infinite angles where on my unit circle I have an x value or an x coordinate of negative root 2 over 2. So an x coordinate of negative root 2 over 2 will be over here in the third or second quadrant. Notice my ASTC, that makes sense. Cosine is positive here and here and negative here and here. I know that I'm dealing with a pi over 4 reference angle here and here because it's root 2 over 2 as my side. And now I notice that my angle is 3 pi over 4 in standard position or negative 3 pi over 4 in standard position. That makes sense because as we remember with arc cosine, whatever our inverse cosine value is, which would be 3 pi over 4, I then get plus 2 pi n. I also get the negative value of that, negative 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. Now, what we have here are all the infinite angles on the unit circle where my x coordinate is negative root 2 over 2. That's what arc cosine means. But my goal wasn't just to get the arc cosine, but to solve for x. So in order to solve for x, I need to get rid of this 1 third by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3. So I'm going to multiply all of this stuff, 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n, negative 3 pi over 4 plus 2 pi n. All of that gets multiplied by 3. And I end up with x equals 9 pi over 4 plus 6 pi n, or negative 9 pi over 4 plus 6 pi n. Now, that's kind of ugly and it's kind of weird to think about, but it's no big deal because really all I want are the answers between 0 and 6 pi. Nine, I'll just start listing them. So x is, nine, is going to be 9 pi over 4, that one works. If I add 6 pi over n, or add 6 pi to my 9 pi over 4, I'm definitely going to be outside of this 6 pi, so that's my only answer there. My next answer, negative 9 pi over 4, is not within this domain because it's negative. But if I add 6 pi to it, negative 9 pi over 4 plus 6 pi, I'll get my answer. So now I need a common denominator. I'll multiply this by 4 over 4 and I get negative 9 pi over 4 plus 24 pi over 4, which gives me and my second answer, which is negative 9 pi plus 24 pi is 15 pi over 4. And there are my two answers, 9 pi over 4 and 15 pi over 4 that are within this domain. Okay, guys, I know that was tricky. You might want to watch it a couple times uh, and ask questions tomorrow. See ya. Bye.